loves welcome and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Samil Jalisa or you can just call me Samil but in today's video I'm gonna show you how I turned this V part wig into looking like a silk press even a sew-in like this looks like my real hair literally cannot see the difference between my natural hair and the wig y'all V part wigs are the truth and I'm gonna show you how I got here I just love it it's just so natural so pretty and I'll show y'all how I got this body these cute curls y'all let's just get into it <laughs> so I got into the habit of always sewing my V part U part wigs down I don't know it's just I like to just keep them on but I don't like the tension of um, slipping in the clips so I always just sew it down so that's what you see me doing here so I never skip out on using heat protectant on my wigs on any human hair bundles wigs whatever it is I always use a heat protectant this is something I just started doing and I see a world of difference my hair blow dries so much faster easier the shine is there y'all do not skip out on this and on my leave out I will use the Kenro blow dry spray the spray is more for coilier kinkier hair so that's why I use it on my leave out and y'all it just makes a world of difference the blend is crazy crazy y'all please look at the blend and y'all my secret is I started getting what is it kinky straight hair y'all the texture blends with my hair texture so beautifully y'all chef's kiss literally this changed the game for me to make my wigs look like a silk press i still do you know brazilian hair and everything but y'all the kinky straight hair is going to eat down every time please look at the blend look at the blend and this is just the blowout y'all i'm telling you the proof is in the pudding okay okay I did get this hair from Amazon. This video is not sponsored by any means, but this is on Amazon, and if it's still there, available, I'll have it linked in my storefront for you guys. Okay, let's get into the press. So on the wig, I always use, I think around like 415 to 420 um, degrees on it because it's not my real hair. I really could care less. But I really will only do like one to three passes just depending um, on how I'm feeling I'm a one pass type of girl I'm just so used to doing one passes because when I do clients at school I would never do multiple passes on their hair so I'm just so used to doing you know a couple taps at the roots and just going down doing one pass um, so I'm kind of just used to it now but one to two passes maybe three just because you know this is not my real hair really don't care I will also say the hot tools you use definitely changes the game. I got this flat iron at school. It was like a demonstration. They were selling them. I thought it was a scam, but I bought it anyway. And y'all, this changed the game for me. This is a two inch flat iron. It's titanium and ceramic. It's like blend together, some sort of keratin smoothing treatment. Y'all, this eats every single time. I used it on my clients. I used it on myself. I used it on everybody I know. I used it on every single weave no to man and it's going to eat down every single time whether it's weave or your real hair please look at it y'all i thought every flat iron was the same absolutely not this is going to eat down every single time my hair was a little staticky i don't really know why but y'all i'm telling you so for my leave out i go in with the olaplex oil this is what i use for heat protectant I'm a type of person, I need an oil heat protectant. I can't do the spray ones anymore. I've just tried them. Doesn't work for me. So I started using this one and game changer. So I'm once again very generous on the heat protectant, very generous on the oil because I just have dry scalp and I just need my hair protected. All of the, all of, all of the above. <laughs> so I go in with that, very generous. I put it on my edges too. I don't have a lot of my edges left out simply because I've been trying to protect my edges more and I try to straighten them less. So I'll just leave out a little bit. I typically will put gel on it. I didn't put gel on it in this video or edge control in this video, but yeah, I don't leave out a lot of edges. That's why you can see my braids a little bit. But when my hair is down, even in a ponytail, you can't see it. 
but I just go in with my pencil straightener and I do my edges. That straightener, I believe, is on 320 or 340 degrees. And then I'm gonna use my pretty flat iron two inch one, and that was gonna be on 370. And then I also go in with my wax stick as well, but I don't go over 400 degrees anymore on my leave out because I've done buns, sleek buns. I dyed my hair blonde a long time ago. It broke off the front of my hair. So I try not to, my hair's heat damaged just from previous me not take care of my hair. But since me being in school and everything, I know how to care for my hair now. I know how to straighten my own hair properly. I don't only do one pass. I keep it below 400. Yeah. So if you see that break in the front, that's just for me previously not caring for my hair properly. So just enjoy me doing this. I use a little bit of white stick on my roots. I do it within each um, pass because I only really flat iron my hair once every like two to three weeks, maybe two weeks. I think I'll do it every two weeks. Y'all, this flat iron is such a game changer. Like, please look at the blend. Obviously my hair is way shorter than the hair. I think this is like 20 inches, maybe 18, I don't know. But, y'all. The blend is crazy. So I, then I go in and do my favorite, favorite curls. This just gives my hair a body, y'all. Just curl away from your face. This is just how I do it. I think it's sped up. I think I'm going to slow it down at some point. But this is just how I do it. And I just pin them up just so they can cool and hold the curl better. Y'all, go to. Like, I literally will never not do these curls. Once I got this um, curling iron, my life changed forever. This is my favorite. I don't know what um, temperature this is on. Maybe like 400. Um, I really don't know. I don't keep my hair on the curler for too long. So I really don't know. I've honestly never changed it. But yeah, this is the Bagless um, curler. I think one inch, one and a half. I don't really remember. My boyfriend honestly bought it for me. I don't know but this is I would never use a different curl iron this eats the pink curls don't have to be perfect by any means it's honestly just to set the curls and once they set then you can take them out and then I go in with my trio I use my Sebastian Schaefer hairspray my Kenra anti-humidity spray and then I use my Kenra shine spray y'all the trio is undefeated I've used so many different products on my hair it makes it crunchy it makes it stiff do not ever use got to be spraying your hair please for the love of everything in this world stop using that and yeah then I just take the curls out and it's beautiful when the curls fall it just looks like so much body giving blow out okay everybody's like is that your hair like is that your real hair did you get your hair straightened is that a blowout I promise you Nobody's ever said that to me until I started doing this routine. But I'm just going to let the end run. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Y'all, it's giving silk. It's giving silk. I would never lie to y'all. I would never lie to y'all. But thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. More videos coming soon, y'all. I took me a break, but I'm back better than ever. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one.